hello guys it's my hope that you're doing well in this video we're going to learn about fixation as a stage of tissue preparation for microscopy so you find that fixation is a treatment of tissue with chemical agents that not only retard alterations of tissue subsequent to death but also maintain its normal structure it involves a series of chemical reactions which alter the various com chemical composition of the cell. Also, fixation involves hardening and preservation of cell morphology and structural details sim simultaneously. If the tissue is infixed immediately after being removed from the body, it undergoes degenerative changes due to autolysis as well as putrefaction which destroys the morphology of individual cells. The principle of fixation we find that fixation causes cross-linking of proteins which produces denaturation or coagulation of proteins. Hence, the semi-fluid state is converted into a semi-solid state and in this process everything is maintained in vivo to each other semi-solid states facilitates the easy manipulation of tissues we need to look at the advantages of fixation in the first one there is tissue preservation and prevention of postmortem changes. If the tissue is kept at room temperature, it liquefies and produces a foil odor due to autolysis and bacterial activity. By fixing, you preserve the tissue and prevent these postmortem changes from taking place. And okay, I've used the term autolysis which is the dissolution of cells by enzymatic reaction, usually due to rupture of lysosomes. While putrefaction, on the other hand, is the breakdown of tissues by bacterial action, which often with an omission of gas. The second advantage of fixation, it enables easy manipulation of tissues. The third advantage, it alters optical differentiation, that is the refractive indices, to various degrees of various cells and tissue components, making it easy to visualize them even when, when they're not stained. The fourth advantage of fixation, it intensify, intensifies all alters the staining characteristics of tissues for example formaldehyde intensifies the effect of hematoxylin properties of the fixatives when that fixation is done by emulsing the tissue in a fluid and the best fixative is the one that penetrates the tissue very fast. So the first property is penetration power of the fixative. The penetration power of the fixative depends on its molecular weight, that is the relative formula mass. Like now an example is when that a fixative like formalin fixes faster than osimic acid. The second one is solubility of the fixative. A good fixative should be soluble in the suitable media, preferably water. It is important as it enables adequate concentrations to be achieved. The third property is concentration of the fixative. It should be isotonic or hypotonic. So 
So the major properties of fixatives is penetration power, solubility, and the concentration of the fixatives. We have fixative types, three groups, and they are in five. That is aldehydes, alcohol, mercurial, oxidizing agents, and pigrates. For aldehydes, examples are formalin and glutanic acid, and the tissue is fixed by cross linkages formed in proteins particularly between lysines. The second, the second group is alcohols. Examples are ethanols and methanols. These ones denature proteins. They cause a lot of brittleness and hardness. They eat quickly and give good nuclear details. They are easy to use. That group is mercurials. They contain mercury chloride an example is zinc they have poor penetration power and cause tissue hardness they are quite fast they also give very good nuclear details they are mainly used for fixation of blood and bone marrow they are highly toxic due to the presence of mercury Fourth one is oxidizing agents. Examples are potassium permanganate, osmium tetroxide, etc. They denature proteins. These oxidizing agents are not frequently used. The other one is picrates. An example is picric acid. The mechanism is not is not well known. And they act like mercurials but no hardness. There is a disclaimer in using picrates should be wet throughout. The reason being picrates are explosive. There are factors that affect fixation. I'm going to name a few that is buffer, penetration, volume, temperature, and time interval. Thank you.